Today's video is brought to you by KiwiCo and more specifically, the Panda Crate. More on that in a bit. Nervous. Her tail keeps going up. All right, we better scooch it back, June. The tail is going up. Is it not going up? She's, she's just threatening us. <laughs> It's a big old chore. Yeah. Come on, Sometimes. baby. And other times it's the easiest thing ever.
we are letting the cow and calf free range today in the yard now. Letting means that we accidentally left the gate open, but we have good grass, so every once in a while we release the lawn mowers. The calf is now about three and a half months old, so she's getting really big and she's eating grass too, in addition to still nursing. Hey, Ginger. Still scared of me? Yeah. He's gonna follow after me. He's playful. I thought you were scared of me. Nope. Here you come. What do you think I have for you? You come all the way to the porch or what? Here, you like me. You like me. Stop it. Oh, she's not sure about Jack Jack. Well, most of the kids are outside on this beautiful fall day. Danny's taking a nap. I'm going to take some time to sew a newborn size or zero to three month size baby bonnet for the new baby coming soon. But in the meantime, I wanna share with you a bit about Panda Crate. If you follow along, you have definitely heard of KiwiCo. We share our experience with using the crates regularly and my kids absolutely love them. Today, I wanna to focus in a bit on Panda Crate. The Panda Crate was developed for infants and toddlers ages zero to 24 months. Currently have one child in that range. Now we will soon have another. And they're designed to focus on the science of early childhood in a way that is helpful, practical, and convenient for parents. Each crate includes Montessori inspired projects and is created in partnership with the Seattle Children's Hospital to foster early learning through developmentally appropriate activities. So activities that are designed for kids who are that little. Each crate also includes an informational magazine and activity cards so that the parents can get involved as well. The crates arrive every other month and are filled with two months worth of content for babies ages zero to 24 months. This month, Daniel received an activity to help him learn about shapes. He loves opening his crate, just like all of his older siblings. And then the older kids, especially my older daughters, really love getting into the boxes with Daniel. They turn into little mother hens, which they always are, but they really enjoy doing these activities with Daniel as well as me, which is great because I always have, as you can always see from my morning scenes, I always have my little helpers, my younger kids with me at all times, unless it's nap. You can get your first month of Panda Crates 50% off by using my link kiwico.com forward slash farmhouse panda. This afternoon I pulled a pattern from my website for a baby bonnet. I used to have on the blog only the um, 12 month size, but I actually have since added the zero to three all the way up through 24 months. And I'm just gonna print it off on my home computer. Now you can send this off to a local printer if you want it all on one page, or you can do like I did and tape it together on something so small. I would rather do that than run off to the print shop. Now I wanted this bonnet to kind of go with my little baby capsule wardrobe that I told you about a month ago or so. And so I went with the tan colors. I found some tan check fabrics in coordinating so that they could it could be reversible. Now the baby won't wear this really that much to be honest. I usually like to have something like this for photographs. So I made Daniel, when he was first born, I sat in bed and I knitted him a hat. And so this time, hopefully this one will work. It seems like it might not fit for a month or so, but either way, I will get photos with it. And then if we have time this afternoon, we may head over to a local pumpkin patch with my sister. And then I plan to get my sourdough dinner rolls that I worked on earlier baked and hopefully make another easy soup. I have more broth, so I'll probably either make a potato soup or a cheeseburger soup and then serve it with sourdough dinner rolls to make dinner really easy. 